2020 marked the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which secured women's right to vote. It was a really important anniversary for all of us to celebrate, and we were really excited to do what we could. So we really focused on trying to tell the stories of women who were left out of the suffrage narrative. We wanted to really expand the story of, of suffrage, not just tell that white upper class narrative. So our first event was our exhibit debut. We held that at City Hall and it was a really exciting event because that day actually marked the first proclamation that Mayor McLean did in her tenure. Thank you all very, very much. And it was really a special moment because it was also the first time that we've had an elected female mayor for the city of Boise. So having it not only be the commemoration of when women could vote, but then we actually had a, a woman in office was really, really neat. And then our next event was one of our Fettuccine Forums where we had Dr. Laura Woodruff and I come and talk about Idaho's role in the suffrage movement and how suffrage played out here in the state. From the federal government's perspective, otherwise known as the American side, would be consistently. And we had just a few short events like that before COVID hit. COVID really shed a light on how important the work is that we do to study public history because it, it provides context to the moment that we're living in. And it, I think for many people it showed that you know, you're not alone, that people of the past had to deal with this very thing. The suffragists themselves, while they were fighting so hard to get the 19th Amendment passed, they too had to live through the Spanish influenza and the, the way that that crippled the world as well. And they had to find ways to continue to advocate for their right to vote and for to, to gain representation. And we can use that history to to anchor ourselves in these hard times and find some stability and to know that you know that this too shall pass and that we you know we look at our histories not to be nostalgic but to actually try and be better ourselves so after several months had passed and people began to understand covid more and what what was safer behavior versus um, riskier behavior. So we did actually do a walking tour in partnership with Preservation Idaho and we all masked up and we walked around downtown and talked about the, the different suffrage sites and the women that were involved at the time. And there was a national event that we participated in that lit up public buildings in suffrage colors, so purple and gold. And we, we participated in that by lighting up City Hall in August to mark the, the day that the 19th Amendment was ratified, so August 26, 1920. We also held a dedication for our public art piece, Suffrage Quilt. It was produced by Stephanie Inman, who also did all of our graphic design work for the commemoration. And she did a wonderful job in incorporating symbols and ideas in that public art piece that, that captured the movement of women's rights from the very beginning of indigenous women having autonomy in their tribal organization and, and having a voice all the way up through the fight for suffer of suffragists to get the right to vote and then th the 1965 Voting Rights Act and and what's really lovely at the very end of the public art piece it's unfinished in a way so that it shows that there's still work to be done and I think that is one of the themes for not only the commemoration but just where we find ourselves today is there's always more work to do um, 
we're here and we've done a really good job and it's great to commemorate that and think about it, but there's still a place and a need for people to continue the work.